All right, thank you, Steve. And we'll be revisiting the area in just a short time. In the meantime, the military sexual abuse scandal hits close to home. Tonight, an investigation is underway into allegations that the 109th Airlift Wing in Scotia promoted sexual abusers instead of punishing them. This comes as a retired officer who handled cases of abuse herself told a local senator that she is fed up with all the sex scandals within the military. Brandon Lewis is live in the newsroom with this story. Brandon, what did the Air National Guard tell you? Oh, Liz, they didn't say much beyond confirming an investigation is underway and made it clear the latest inquiry was started internally by the head of New York's National Guard forces. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Colonel Sharon Stepp's letter to the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee is already making noise in Washington. In a scathing letter to Senator Patrick Leahy, a retired officer says the 109th Airlift Wing, based in Scotia, failed to properly handle reports of sexual abuse. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Sharon Dwyer Stepp says she was assaulted three times in her 37 years of service, and instead of punishing abusers, the New York Air National Guard Wing promoted them. We can't comment on, on specific allegations made about something that was from 2010. Uh, what we are looking at is, is current events in the organization, and we've brought in a set of outside eyes to give us an unbiased look at that. And just as any organization that uh, uncovers some deficiencies, we're going to take every step we can, figure out what went wrong and how to prevent it in the future. Step claims commanders worked to sweep reports of sexual assault under the rug. A Pentagon report estimates sexual assaults are on the rise within the military, and a push is underway in Washington to change the way investigations are handled. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is pushing reform that would change the investigation process. In a statement saying Stepp's remarks are, quote, consistent with what we have heard over and over again from the victims, the chain of command is failing victims of sexual abuse, unquote. Meanwhile, internally within the Guard, they are attempting to restore trust in the ranks. It's the trust and confidence that our airmen have in their chain of command. Uh, that's the bond that makes the National Guard strong, is that we know each other, we serve along each other for many years in many cases, and those bonds are very important. And anything that undermines those bonds is something that we're going to address right away. And today we tried reaching out to Step, but she didn't return our call. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll talk more about the changes underway in the military and why Step calls them ineffective. Liz? I wonder, Brandon, and maybe it's too soon to know, but did Senator Leahy have any reaction to her letter? But we actually spoke with his office earlier today, Liz, and uh, we're told the senator did speak to Step and wants to look further into those claims. He's also uh, working with the Senator Gillibrand on her bill. All right. Brandon Lewis, thank you.